career. We've heard lots of stories about winless football teams. Tonight we give you a winless football team with a difference. Yes, they are winless, but they are also pointless. Steve Vicente of NBC News reports. It's an all too common sight at Bobo Kivery High School football games. The other team scoring. To say this tiny school's football program has fallen on some hard times is like saying the USFL has a temporary cash flow problem. When it comes to scoring, a prerequisite for winning any football game, the Bobo Kivery Warriors have gone bankrupt. Since late in the 1984 season, Bobo Kivery hasn't scored a point in any game. During that time, its opponents have rolled up more than 700 points. Bobo Kivery is a school of perhaps 250 students situated in the middle of the Thono Autumn Indian Reservation, about an hour west of Tucson. Some students bus 30 or 40 miles each way. Travel that doesn't make extracurricular activity easy. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, seven. On days, there are barely enough players to practice. If he's lucky, first-year coach Pat Weiser dresses 23 players for a game. That's one first-string squad. One guy gets hurt, and that one guy usually plays two or three different positions. So I'm having to try and fill that with two or three different people. You'd think after a while, they'd just give up. But Coach Weiser's approach has actually made the whole thing bearable. How many boys can play football and not score a point and still have the courage and the intestinal fortitude to get up on Monday morning, go to school, and at 3 o'clock when the bell rings, say, I'm going to still go out to football practice? It doesn't matter if we score or if we don't score. At least we're out there having fun. We're trying. The Warriors give it one last valiant effort in their season finale, but again, fall woefully short. It's over, it's done, you can't change it, folks. Just, hey, there's always next time. Just keep going, that's all you can do. I'm Steve Pacetti reporting for NBC News. Jokes at their, at their expense would be cruel. I give them an A for effort. <laughs> that's great if they can still have a good time without mm -hmm. scoring any points. I mean, that's the whole idea. It is. John Brophy might learn a lesson from, <laughs> from those kids. From I don't think the Leafs are going to go point.